Hey, it's Bruce with your midweek market update. This is the report that I share that tracks uh, supply and demand housing index and is really tied to the number of showings in the marketplace. So let me just share my screen with you so that we can review those details. And away we go. We're looking at the report for September 16th. And what you'll see here, let me slide this up just a little bit. Single family, three plus bedrooms, two plus full baths, 419 to 999 is what I'm tracking. And we're looking specifically at 20815 Chevy Chase, 20814 Bethesda, into Kensington, into the Forest Glen to Wheaton area, and right here in downtown Silver Spring. Now, found this report just got published today, released by Bright MLS, and you'll see the home demand index year over year comparison. I thought it was interesting to note. The blue lines indicate August 2019 to July 2020. So let's just run right out here to the end of the line. You'll see that last year, as of July 2020, the index of availability was higher than it is now at the end of uh, July 2021, the red line. You'll see how that drops significantly. And here's where that comes into play. Look at the number of showings in downtown Silver Spring. For the week of the 10th through the 16th, you had an average of one showing per listing. Again, three plus, two plus, 419 to 999. You go over to Forest Glen Wheaton, average of one showing. Look at the numbers as I skip from slide to slide, how it continues to drop. The average per week shrinks. There's Chevy Chase showing two listings there. And then into Bethesda big hole. And we know that that's primarily because of the price points in Bethesda. Then we go to 2895 Kensington, same strategy or scenario there in that the price points in those markets don't, uh, aren't readily available in the, in the price range that we're talking about. So where's all of this take us? It's important to note that what this means for everyone out there, if you are a buyer, the demand has relaxed substantially. There's not enough showings out there. That means not enough people are making appointments to get out there and take a look at the properties, even though the number of properties on the market have increased. So I would suggest based on what I've been tracking over the last many months, that we're going to see another plunge. Remember those uh, bright MLS statistics I shared with you were based on August numbers looking back into July, and here we are standing September 16th, and I've seen the numbers plunging. You see that houses aren't being shown, which means contracts aren't going to be written. If you're a buyer, now's a great time to get into the market because there's less competition, less chance that you're going to have to compete or bid unless it's an aggressively underpriced property. And if you're a seller, it's going to be really important that we price you properly correctly, have it marketed correctly so that you're not sitting out there a couple of months down the line going into October without any contracts. And uh, let's get you closed. Give me a call. I'd be happy to help out. And if you'd like to see any of these reports, by all means, let me know. I'm happy to send them to you. Thank you.